the guest uh, vice principals and other other distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and also the students, particularly the participants. I would like to express my gratitude and heartfelt thanks to the authority of St. Joseph School, especially the teacher, the coordinator, my friend, Mr. White Kabu, and also all of you for inviting me and giving me the opportunity to speak few words in front of you. I will not speak a lot, long speech, but I would like to ask some questions to the participants and the students. My first question is, have you heard the 3C, 3C about the current context of global problem? Have you heard the 3C problems? If anybody can say what is 3C, please raise your hand. 3C. Nobody. No problem. I am, I am telling the 3C. One C is crisis. And other C is conflict and third is climate change. This is the current, in, in current context, the global main problems. I have been working as a journalist for decades and most of the time I have covered the uh, international issues, the relations, uh, international relations, including the UN system. Today, entire world is actually clouded with the three main problems. Crisis means you are aware of, about the pandemic of COVID-19. Enter world has suffered a long time for COVID crisis. So this is a, one of the main problems for, for the world. The second problem is conflict. You are aware the very everywhere there are conflicts. If you look at the recent war in Afghanistan or Iraq or other places, some places in Africa, and latest one is the Ukraine war, war between Russia and Ukraine. So, in the effect of this war and conflict, the, the essential price has been rise. So, it is a big problem for the world. And third problem for our planet is climate change. We are aware that the rising sea level and rising the global warming, making the sea level rise and also the salinity. So Bangladesh also heavily affected by these three, three crises, three problems. So we are discussing here about to solve this problem because of this uh, Assembly, everybody who is focusing on three crises by multilateralism mechanism. Have you heard the name of multilateralism? If anybody heard the name, please raise your hand. Multilateralism. Yes. Okay. So bilateral means two nations, but multilateral is multi nations, and the UN by United Nations is multilateral forum and everybody 193 countries bring together and discuss in the national uh, uh, general assembly every year in September and they discuss their viewpoint and they try to solve this problem. This major problem is financing, you know, if you want to overcome the crisis for pandemic, you have need financing because you need the vaccination and other problems. And also, you know that some rich countries have more money, but poorer nations, they have no money that much. So, this financing is one of the main. And even, even the conflict resolution, we need the money because we have to deploy the peacekeeping forces to the conflict zone. And also the climate change, if you want to stop the climate change, need the money. So financing is one of the main major problems. So uh, to solve this problem, to manage the financing, you have to 
heard the voice of the young generations. You are the young generation. We have to listen from you. Entire world is the young generation. Population is the majority population. So we have to hear the voice of the young generation. The students is very important. Your discussion because if you discuss the entire problem, you will raise your voice. You will say we need the multilateralism. We need the financing. We need to solve the crisis of war. We need to solve the crisis of uh, crisis of pandemic and also the climate change. So I always value and I give them most important this assembly where the young generation, young students are participating, the 600 students are participating from the 50 institutions from, uh, from Dhaka city. So I congratulate you for participating there. I mean, after participating, <coughs> you will, you will uh, earn a lot of knowledge. It will be very, very useful for you in practical life because we have studied entire geography of the across the globe. We have studied the science of the planet for understanding the climate change. You have studied the political system of everything. So it is very very useful useful session for you. I just congratulate the organizer who have done this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, reality uh, who have understood the reality and uh, last time I like to say that they are in Bangladesh context, United Nations is very, very important because, you know, we have critically need the elevation of poverty. We need to uh, eliminate the disparity, economic disparity, you know, the rich and poor, you know, the difference. We need trade and greater trade and investment flow. We need education, science and technology and transport of technology because our nation, the Eastern nations, always declare they do not have the technology, why should have the technology? And also the migration, the huge population, 100 million, uh, 10 million population living abroad from Bangladesh. So migration, the free flow of migration, those are the important issues for Bangladesh. I hope next two or three days you will discuss all this matter and the young generation will do everything for future because you are the backbone of the of our world and you are the backbone of our